So I want to talk to you just a little bit about the canvassing that's going on. Can you all hear me at the back? Yeah. Good. I want everybody who's involved in canvassing or postering or leafleting or fundraising to stick up your hands. There are thousands of people getting out of their comfortable sitting room to spread the word that as a nation we don't want our children killed in our maternity homes. You guys are inspiring because you're normal people. You're not slick sales people. You'd rather not be doing this, but it's so important to you that you're getting out there. When you go door to door, you don't talk to the privileged elite that are trying to force this on us. You're talking to normal people. Normal people talking to normal people is making a huge difference. So you can hear me, I want to hear you. Is there anything more important in the next two weeks than fighting for life? No. Is there anything more noble than fighting for life? No. Those of you who didn't stick up your hands, how many of you would like to get involved now? Good. I hope you've got that text message and you're sending it in to us. If there are tens of thousands of people here, if every single one of you changes one person's mind in the next two weeks, we will definitely win. The length and the breadth of the country, we are finding more and more people are making up their minds. In the last week in particular, we saw far more people at the doorstep were making up their minds. And more of them were making up their minds to vote no than to vote yes. We've got two weeks to get the rest of the undecided people to vote no. We need your help. It is very simple. You do not have to be slick. You do not have to be beautiful. All you have to do is ask people who are undecided, while they think abortion might be okay in hard cases, ask them, is it okay for you that in our country there will be unrestricted abortion of children, healthy, unhealthy, whatever? Ask them that question. What are many of them saying? No. So we need you out there having that conversation, asking people do they really, really want unrestricted, whatever reason, even no reason, abortion up to 12 weeks. Ask them that question. And if they say no, then tell them they need to vote no. We need you involved. Normal people having normal conversations with other normal people and we will certainly win this referendum. So thank you. Make sure you send your text message and volunteer. Great to have you.
canvassing right now. And you are here, but you're going to be canvassing tomorrow, isn't that right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I want to welcome everybody. The pro-life campaign and all the other pro-life groups, we have one goal and one goal only. And that is to protect in our laws all life, from conception to natural death, no exceptions. I want that to be clear. But I also want to welcome here today. I have come across, I've been all over the country in the last two weeks, north, south, east and west. I have met lay people, I've met lawyers and doctors who have said to me, normally we wouldn't think we'd be with you because we think there are hard cases and we think maybe there should be exceptions. Now, I can tell you, I debated with Peter Boyling yesterday, no woman has died in this country because of the Eighth Amendment. Not one. You're pro-choice, but you're not pro this choice. We welcome you because we will keep our Eighth Amendment. And we will talk later with you, and you can talk to the government about different proposals. This proposal couldn't be more clear. This proposal to remove all protection from all unborn babies in our Constitution will result in abortion on demand. The legal experts on both sides of the campaign have said so. One of the legal advisors to the repeal campaign has said, we will have interim legislation on the way to light touch or almost no regulation at all if the Eighth Amendment goes. That's why this is the goal and that's why we're going to beat it. So, Simon Harris's proposal, he's given us some draft legislation. It's really not worth talking about everybody. The Taoiseach told us there are no guarantees about the legislation. It can be amended. It won't look the same when it comes to be voted on. It is more frightening than England's abortion law, where one baby for every four born dies in abortion. This is not a lie, Dr. Boylan. For every four children born in England, one dies in abortion. The only medical procedure that is provided for in Minister Harris's legislation is the deliberate and intentional destruction of a baby in circumstances where there isn't a bit of evidence that it's ever necessary to save a woman's life or address a health issue in pregnancy. So none of us can afford to take the foot off the pedal in the next two weeks. There's far too much at stake. The work that you're all doing is absolutely brilliant and thank you for all the sacrifices you're making it is an honour for each and every one of us to play our part in this campaign. But to win and to keep the eighth, we have to go the extra mile. We have to put the word out to our friends and family, to the people we've been putting off talking to, to our friends who we know are pro-choice. We have to show them, we are nice people. You are all my friends. We're the kind of people people want to be friends with. We are not unreasonable. We are caring. We love each other and we want to love women in, in, with unplanned pregnancy. jurisdiction where abortion has been legalized is that once you give these powers to politicians, 